Hi, uh, today we will cover uh, object pool uh, design pattern. First, we will see the explanation of object pool uh, design pattern. Uh, this is the explanation. Object pool pattern offers a mechanism to reuse objects and shared objects that are expensive to create. The second point is basically we will use uh, object pool whenever there are several clients who needs the same stateless resource which is expensive to create. So what is the meaning of uh, these two sentences? Uh, suppose uh, say some object is there uh, which is very expensive to create. We can take a say connection object. Connection object is always uh, expensive to create. So that uh, ex expensive object uh, if you want to uh, reuse or shared with shared by the multiple uh, clients then uh, we can go for object pool uh, pattern. So this object pool pattern offers a mechanism or provides a way to reuse the uh, expensive object. And uh, it provides way to shared objects uh, by the multiple uh, client. Okay. And uh, why uh, we have to use uh, this object pool pattern. So if we use uh, this object pool pattern, uh, we are definitely improving the performance because the expensive uh, object we are creating one or two times and uh, that can be shared by some uh, multiple clients. Suppose uh, uh, some 10 clients are there. So the 10 clients requesting uh, the expensive uh, uh, object, we no need to create uh, uh, 10 times the expensive object. Okay, we can uh, create only one time and we can share among the clients. So how to share among the clients, uh, we will see uh, how this object pool pattern is uh, working, how we can share the objects. Okay. Uh, so uh, there are three important objects are there in object pool pattern. One is uh, reusable uh, object, which you can see here and another one is uh, client uh, and another one is uh, reusable uh, pool okay so what is this uh, reusable object so this reusable object is nothing but it is a expensive object and uh, creating this uh, expensive object is uh, little bit difficult and it will occupy more memory okay so that that is kind of a reusable object so this reusable object is object which will be shared by the multiple uh, clients for a limited uh, amount of uh, time okay and uh, client is the object uh, which uh, uses the reusable object and uh, another one is uh, reusable uh, pool so this reusable pool object is responsible for managing the reusable objects uh, and uh, it is it will also create reusable object if required right and so this is basically uh, this reusable uh, pool is responsible for managing the reusable uh, object and uh, here you can see pool size 2 uh, once uh, we set pool size equal to 2 then uh, in the reusable pool we can put only two reusable object more than that we can't put okay so that is the uh, uh, meaning of uh, pool size okay uh, now we will see how uh, this this works okay uh, so client one is there okay so client one uh, wants reusable object uh, to finish uh, some functionality so the client one request reusable object to the reusable uh, pool so what reusable pool will uh, do is it will check in the reusable pool uh, any reusable object is available uh, so now if you see uh, reusable object is available so it will uh, return reusable object to client one okay and uh, so client will use this reusable object and it will do uh, some operation uh, after some point of time client two comes okay so client two wants uh, some reusable object from the uh, reusable pool so client two send a request to the reusable uh, pool so this reusable pool will check uh, reusable object available in the pool now if you see uh, no reusable object is available so what it will do is uh, it will uh, check pool size equal to 2 okay so already one object was there and it was uh, returned to client 1 so uh, another one object it can create because maximum pool size is 2 so what it will do is reusable pool it will create reusable object 2 and it will return that reusable object to client 2 
now both client 1 and client 2 are using uh, reusable object 1 and uh, reusable object 2 respectively uh, now another client is coming after some point of time client 3 is coming and it requires reusable object from the reusable pool uh, now what uh, reusable pool will do is it will check um, in the pool okay uh, reusable object uh, is not available so it uh, so it will check uh, pool size uh, pool size okay 2 is there but already two objects are created and it's written to uh, uh, client 1 and client 2 so it can't create a new object so reusable pool will wait till uh, client 1 or client 2 release the uh, reusable object uh, so it waits for some time so after some time client 1 finishes the job and uh, it returns uh, reusable object 1 to the reusable pool then what reusable pool will do is it will return uh, reusable uh, object 1 to client 3 okay so this way uh, it uh, this reusable pool will share the reusable object to multiple clients uh, so in this uh, important point is client is responsible for requesting the reusable object from the reusable pool and also client is responsible for releasing the object to the reusable pool if client is not releasing properly uh, that reusable object to the re, uh, reusable pool then it will screw up the whole uh, program and uh, it will end up uh, uh, giving lot of uh, issues okay uh, so the, uh, the code uh, should be written properly okay and uh, this is about uh, object pool uh, uh, design pattern and uh, I have created a separate video for how to implement object pool uh, design pattern so the video name is object pool pattern uh, implementation uh, uh, and also I have created one more video for uh, connection pool so how to create connection pool using this object pool pattern uh, so there are two videos uh, please log into my channel and uh, watch those videos so that you will understand uh, more about uh, this object pool uh, design pattern and uh, this is about object pool design pattern and uh, thanks for watching bye